Welcome back, it's still Rise and Shine, and we are coming to you live from the beautiful hills of Ibiakura, and of course, Lifestyle Friday. And we're going to quickly hop into that lifestyle conversation with a young man who has distinguished himself with a very different kind of trade and the influence that he carries about, you know, this particular trade. Um, on our set this morning is Mr. Eteng, who will be here to tell us about his story. Guess what? He sells Agidi. Do you remember Agidi from way back yeah. when you went to primary and secondary school? Everyone will rush. But there is a touch of ingenuity that he adds to how this is done. And that's why we have him here and set on the Lifestyle Friday to have this live discussion with us this morning. Good morning, Mr. Eten. Good morning. Good to have you here. Thank you very much. How's the journey here? Well, um, I really think that, you know, I was supposed to be here before now, yeah. but based on the bad rule and a lot of that, but I still thank God. Okay, you made it at last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thankfully, the guests can listen to you, the audience can, yeah. you know, listen to you at the end of it. So, Educated Agidi, <laughs> that is what your Agidi brand is called, Educated Agidi. Where did that start from? Well, um, first, um, actually, before I started, I was actually saving my auntie, you know, by then, I was selling the uh, uh, local agidi. <laughs> I, I, I considered being local then. But at some point, after I stayed with my auntie for about um, nine years, eight months, probably 10 years. So I was like, um, no. When I started mine, you know, uh, one thing about we are in the modern world whereby today uh, you, you need to modernize your whatever thing. You have to bring it up. You, you, you need an upgrade. You understand? So I had to, like, it's, I, 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 I don't know how to say it. Like, I don't really know how to say it, but I just have to, like, have so to call it educated. educated like it is like the upgrade of yes, what you used to do with your Yes, and other, another thing is um, it, the name also bring, it brings attention, you know. It attracts a lot of persons because sometimes when I go, people say, ah, educated Agidi. Ah. <laughs> what what so what what makes it educated agidi what what are did the it features school, yeah, did it go primary school, school secondary yeah, school what's well, or yeah. even the university yeah, well, why well, is it educated well um why i call it educated is because um you know it's a brand educated is a brand that's what i just i i, I just like to you know that's the name i like to give to my brand and what makes it educated is a brand Okay, is that when what, when you call this educated agidi? Is that because you have gone to school and you are a graduate yet selling agidi, or it's because of some of the condiments, ingredients, and styles of delivery that you give to it? Why did you call it educated? Of course, yeah, I call it educated because of one, my dressings. Okay. My dressing one and two, the taste. You can compare the taste of my agidi with others, like okay. seriously. Hmm. So you can compare and other things I add to it. Uh, my deliveries and a lot of that. Everything is just reliable. Okay. okay. Now, another question I want to ask. Another question I want to ask you is, um, now, you're educated. Yeah. You went to school. What did you read? Well, um, I stopped in middle high school. Middle high school? Yeah. Okay. I stopped in middle high school. But as a growing child now, because I know that growing up, we all had like dreams. Mm. Yeah, I don't know what you wanted to be, but well, I'm I've doing always what wanted, I wanted to be a to communicator. Be. Okay, <laughs> so we all had dreams of, oh, I'm going to be a, a policeman. I'm going to be a doctor. I'm going to be an engineer. What was it like for you? Did you have that dream of becoming something? Of course, yeah. So share with us, please. I what um, my vision was to become a journalist. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> I hear you're on set. Um, okay. Of course, yeah. So this is just the beginning. Okay. This mm. is just the beginning, and and I pray to God that everything will come through. It's just that, um, you know, the agility business. There's a level I wanted to get to. When before then, I can now further my education. Okay. So, so for you getting into selling of educated agidi, is it so you can gather money and proceed or further your education or what's the dream like? Now, I'm, I'm going to ask a question. Someone was saying something on Facebook yesterday. The person says, uh, maybe we'll talk about your dressing later, but the person says, if you can dress this good, then you should have money enough to open like a small shop and not hawk it around like this? Well, um, you know, one thing about everything is, um, one, you, you have to start somewhere. Mm -hmm. You have to start somewhere. You don't just, you know, you don't just, 
uh, wake up one day and become something. So you have to start somewhere. But you've been doing this for quite a while. Uh, yeah. For how long have you been selling educated I give I've, I've done it, this is four years. This four is four years. years. So with some of the influences and exposures that you have, because I know you are invited to platforms within Aquibum, the business shows and all of those things to even um, expose your educated I give Don't you have investments that could help you to, like you talked, about upgrading your business, taking it to a point where we have an educated Agidi spot Sports. in town. Well, uh, yeah, uh, what you're saying is true. Um, because um, like now my business is registered. I'm, I'm, you know, by next year, probably next year, either February, uh, January, February, in between um, January, February, um, I just pray to God everything will come true because um, we have vision of upgrading the business, taking it to another level, mm. whereby, you know, hawking it on the street, you know, it's, yeah. it's really Straight affects, yeah. on yes, it's a kind of a And I feel like you've already made enough statements with hawking it, so it will be easy for you once you've opened a spot in town with all of the ads, maybe even on radio, on Facebook and all the likes, it will be easy for anyone who remembers the feeling of eating educated agiti to, to drive to where you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so another thing is, um, you know, we have some challenges in okay. the business and, mm -hmm. the, uh, you know, the challenges are one is financial. Okay. Uh, you know, we are not uh, financially stable like, you know, but um, all what we are doing, we are trying to make sure that we gather money the little money, whatever little money we have to use and start up from somewhere. Because what I want to start off with, um, I would have had, um, I would have loved to have an e tree, but um, since there's not enough money, so my vision now is to make sure that I have a kiosk, like I, I can have a kiosk whereby produce the agri after, uh, from the production room now, forward it to the, uh, like, you know, oh, yeah. just take it to the spot and, you know, um, I, I'll have Service. a staff will be set, uh, staying there to make sales, you know, to sell the ed educated agreement and the person will just stay there and be selling it. So we have go back to school or something. Yeah, yeah. of course, yeah. So it, we have places like the um, Aquibum um, business showroom where people who are, you know, producing Aquibum indigenous things go to display their goods. How come you have not leveraged on that opportunity? They currently have expanded and they have two showrooms within the, the city metropolis. How come you don't have a stand or why don't we walk into the supermarket and we are able to pick up educated Agidi? Okay, well, um, I'll do that. I'll do that. That's one of my vision. I'm, I'm, I'll make sure that I do that. Okay. So okay, there, so there seems to be a lot of promises. Yes, let's even talk about your dressing now. Um, what is really it about your dressing? Why did you, you, you know, come up with dressing so good and the next thing we are seeing on your head is agidi, a tray of agidi? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm a kind of man, I hate, like, I love to be clean. Okay. Of cleanliness. Okay like to be clean as well so while i really dress that way you know so is it like um a strategy for you that's what i'm trying to ask <laughs> is it a strategy for you yeah, because okay. the truth is yeah <laughs> if i'm walking on the road now mm -hmm. and i see him this dressed and then he has a tray of agidi on his head mm -hmm. the next thing i'll be looking at is whoa why is such a cute <laughs> person you know selling agidi like this yes. so is there a strategy a market strategy for you yeah well uh, that's one of the marketing strategies mm -hmm. And one, you know, I have so many customers, a lot of these politicians and lot of, a lot of them. Most of them would have loved to be buying these things from the, you know, uh, from other persons. But based on how other persons dresses and, you know, that sometimes you look at them, you look at their dressing, so disgusting, a lot of that, you know. It's always like, it's not always encouraging to learn what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I'm not just doing it because I want to do it. I'm doing it because I want to give the best service to the people and I make sure that whosoever looks at me will consider my product being the same way I do. You understand? Okay, okay. So, I, I'm sorry, yeah. Mm. Another thing I want to ask you based on your dressing now, has anyone in the space of the four years that you've been doing this business and like you said, you have uh, very influential people buy your products, politicians buy your products. So none of them have ever walked up to you and say, hey, young man, you have to stop this business. I have a job for you. Well, um, someone uh, one time ago on Facebook, um, I didn't see, uh, like, I've not met him, but he, he wanted to give me a job. Well, I, I, don't, I don't really need a job. Okay. You're contented, sir? I'm contented with the business. So what I want is empowerment. 
to, to be able to the openness of my heart. Well, that's it, it, until when you decide to go into journalism. Yes. Or when you go into journalism, how do you, <laughs> how do you intend to do it? <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I, I forgot that part. You know, I, uh, apart from that, before getting to there, I already have people I've coached, you know, mm -hmm. trained and, you know. I have people whom I've already trained. So and definitely, gonna make one sure day you still come to work. Uh, yeah, of uh, Well, at the end of the day, I feel like the, the, there's going to be a need for strategy and re-strategizing. Now, when you you have carved a niche for yourself in selling Agidi in Aquabum State, and I think that if you know one more way that you can stay on top of that is if you you know create a cash for other people who sell Agidi. Now, when you go on the street daily to sell Agidi, do you interact with other Agidi sellers? Is there, you know, all of this tech, tech woman, um, bakers association, there weren't industries before, yeah. but a particular person has come in and taken hold with their influence and they've made all of those things an industry. Are you looking at making Agidi an industry in, you know, the food um, industry okay. in Nigeria and the future in Nigeria. Of course, yeah, that's one of my vision. Like okay. as I said in, uh, on BBC, that was what I said. So I want I want to make sure that I have these agidis coming to be something that everybody will want to do it. Mm. Of course, yeah, in the future, because we have our dream is very big. Okay, so one one big question I'm going to ask you: Should we expect that come 2023 we will no longer see you hawking agidi on the streets? Of course, yeah. I was supposed to stop that. Uh, I was supposed to stop this year, but. Okay. Um, you know, our money wasn't, you know, we are not financially buoyant, you know, so, but we believe God that between the period of this month and next month, hmm. we will try and so, get So, something. Moses, when you say you're not financially buoyant to start the next phase of your life, trust me, I, I, I seem not to share in that. Um, yeah, because uh, I'm yeah. going to ask. I seem, not to, <laughs> I seem not to share in that, you know, um, thought of yours, because if you're saying that you've been selling Agidi for the past four years, and you have a projection, unless you do not have a projection, or unless maybe on the lighter note, you use your monies and proceeds, you know, to look this good. But again, if you have prospects, okay, and you begin to plan towards it, definitely with or without money. If you go for a business uh, training or a business school, they tell you that money is even the last thing that you need when you want to talk about, you know, growing your business or starting a business. So let's not even say that there's not enough money. Now, you've gathered a lot of publicity exposure. and exposure. You just talked about the fact that you've been on the BBC, okay? Mm -hmm. So that alone should be like a major push for you. Now, what are the process from all the fame and the visibility that you're getting? Is it that it's not generating any tangibles for you? Well, it's actually not generating tangible, you know, but um, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I'm sure of what in that aspect. Okay. Because um, our expectation, what we expected to have come out from that BBC something, they didn't come out well. Okay, so what anyway, even, even going beyond yeah. that, we know that even in Akwaibom, there are empowerment programs that are being done there are, there's a lot of ventures in Aquabo. Are there no empowerment where even if you've gone to a place and it was 50,000 given to educated Agidi, 100,000 given to um, educated Agidi? Are you also saying that in some of these places when you go and people make you promises, they do not deliver on it? Because if people, if they give you 50,000, 100,000 here and there, if you put it together, it will be able to establish you a kiosk in a center of town before we even go to expanding it into a restaurant. Yeah, well, um, actually, I, I don't really have people who promise me money. Okay. And even when you promise me, I don't really rely on promises. Okay. You understand? But I pray about it. But do I you have mentors in, you, in this, your business? Do you have people that mentor you and coach you, you know, in trying to do the right things, taking the right steps? Of course, yeah. Okay. Of course, yes, I do. And I that's have. helping you a whole yeah. lot. Yeah. Anytime I have, I see that I'm, I'm not getting it. I have to go to them, say, please. This is where I'm having lapses, you know. Okay. So just have to tell them my, you know, my difficulties, my challenges, and they do help me. I have many, many of them. Okay, I, th I think the last question I want to ask you now before we wrap things up because our time is gone is, are you happy doing the things you're doing? Oh my God, I, I, I'm telling you, like, as it stands now, I feel like I should even carry the agree of my head, like, you know. On be, set, <laughs> right? <laughs> like, okay. she was I... I really have jo my, like my joy. I can't can't even express my love and my joy for the business. I love the business so much, mm -hmm. and that's why 
We promised the people of Akwaibom State and Nigeria as a whole that come 2023, we're going to have... will be everywhere in the world. <laughs> <laughs> of yeah. course, so I'm very much happy. So because um, even when I'm selling, people do talk, people do look down on me, on the business, but I don't mind. I know what I want and I know where I'm going to. Mm. I'm not discouraged. There is no amount of what one will use, like, will discourage me. Mm. I've grown above that level that what can discourage me oh, wow. in my business. Yeah. We're actually really looking forward to a next year of a business brand that outlives what it has currently done in the past um, four years. So I want to say a very big thank you to you, Moses Eteng, the very educated Agili seller, for coming on set this morning. Yeah. We wish you all the best in your business. Okay. Yeah.